Hey guys, so um, this week's nail tutorial is going to be um, my first ever nail design that I did uh, when I first started sort of playing about with nail art. And uh, my inspiration came from this month's um, Cosmopolitan magazine, which is the February issue. And in here they have a whole section on um, nail art, which I think now is becoming sort of like quite a popular thing to do. I think for a little while it became, you know, it was only a bit chavvy maybe, I don't know. Um, but there's a whole section um, of nail art designs and then the actual nail artist and then there's a page there which has got um, all the things that you um, need in your kit, you know, bits and pieces you can buy from, you know, drugstores or um, supermarkets, that kind of thing. Um, and I also came across when I was clearing out a cupboard, um, I have this nail art display and I had done all of these nail art designs when I used to um, run a little salon room and I used to have it in the reception area for my clients to see hoping that they would then book in to have nail art but um, as it wasn't that popular back then they didn't whereas now a lot of people have it so um, the first ever nail art design I did on someone's nails is this design here and um, I'm going to show you how to do that so keep watching and I'll show you how to get the look Okay, so as you can see, I've already painted on my base colour and I've used one from OPI and this is Short Story. Um, this is quite an old one, but I think it's still in the normal, like, classic collection. Um, so I've popped on two coats of that and then the next thing I'm going to use is a black nail art pen. Um, and you can either use any paint with a really long, thin brush because um, it will give you more control when making, like, the stripes. Or you can use one that's already got, like, a striper... Um, brush in the, built into the lid which is what I'm using and you want to basically take off as much of the paint as you can so that you don't get too thick a line and the first thing you're going to do is draw like the petal shape from the corner of the nail and just try and keep it in one fluid movement if you don't get a perfect shape or there's a gap or overlaps at the top then don't worry that's sort of all part of it it's not going to be um, perfect and then you'll do your two stripes at the side and these have got a small curve to them and then what you will do is use a dotting tool and you're just going to dip into some black um, nail art paint and you're just literally going to go along the edges and put in three dots these can be as thick or as thin as you like and then the final bit to finish it off is going to be a glitter um, paint and I'm using silver, you can use any colour you like um, but this is what I used to use all the time when I first did nail art and you're literally just going to do a stripe through the middle of the petal and continue it up through onto the nail and that's it so it's so easy to do really really simple but yet looks quite pretty and effective once that's given you've given that a couple of moments just to dry and um, then pop on your top coat just to seal it so now that you know how to get this look, I hope you guys will give it a go. Um, as always, there will be more information and more pictures um, on my blog, so please check that out. I shall put the link in the description bar below. Um, but other than that, I hope you all have a great week, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye!